So none you're telling me that, that are anywhere near on the <laughs> he level He kind of has a mental so. advantage right now. Like, I, yeah. I know none of y'all know about the Rosa unless you played the bus somehow. But yeah. we're going to talk about Ray. Oh? Okay. All right, I guess we are starting on Battlefield. Yeah, full jabs in the corner right there. Oh, oh my and God. that two frame with the down air. <laughs> yeah, the thing with Mega Man is that, again, I mentioned earlier, his um, recovery, while at times can be good, is kind of linear. Um, kind of is difficult for him to get back to stage, especially on a character that has those huge disjointed below leg hitboxes like Rosa. And that's only going to be compounded by the fact that Mega Man can't land. Mega yeah. Man has a lot of trouble hitting the floor. I feel like he would have to like mix up, like, because, you know, like, if you don't, if, assuming if he plays with no top jump, he can just mix up, like, I'm going to just jump first and I'll be all. I'll be jump, but nice call out from Utopia and Ray with the early recovery that the King Ark tried to do right there. Yeah, and Ray's edge guarding is just so beyond phenomenal. His tracking is really excellent. Uh, a nice high up B right there to get back to stage. Yeah, he not, messing with, not messing with Mega Man off stage. <laughs> I lost my jump. All right, I, I'll just I'll just take a couple more damage at this point. And now King Ark's turn to continue on with the less pressure right here. Ooh, okay. And oh. Ray doing that low mix of recovery does end up allowing him to get back to ledge, but not enough to get him back to stage. Ooh, and then that folder actually forced um, King Ark onto ledge, allowing it to reset the situation. And now, really tough position. This Luma is really throwing hands right now with this Mega Man. I don't, the only main thing I'll say, like, I, I can see Rosa winning the matchup by paper, but Mega Man only has the physical advantage. Like, the back is very disjointed, very quick, and it kills. And Rosa's really. Oh my god, the Luma set up? Almost. Uh, right, oh, back he, there. Ray, Ray almost got that one. He's going to have to be careful how he's going to come back to the stage. I mean, right, what I'm seeing right now, Utopian Ray is very consistent on like keeping Mega Man away from the center stage right here. Yeah, and that Metal Blade kind of does get invalidated to some extent by uh, Luma just being there. Um, makes it really, really tough for uh, King Ark to really get off that ledge. And, you know, Rose's ledge traffic is already so good as is yeah. um, that it's just going you know, to make it even more difficult for a title like Mega Man oh to get back. Yo, Yo, you're that dead. Was crazy. I like the attempt. But Utopian Rage is pretty much just menacingly stared at him, saying, like, what are you going to do about it? I know you don't have no jump. You, you kind of have to up here at some point, but then I have the spike ready on reaction. Yeah, and really, at, at this point in time, Ray with a full two-stock lead. Um, uh, really, in, in a position like Rosa's going to kill real early with Rage, especially on Battlefield. Oh, yeah. Getting back down to the floor is going to be so hard for King Art. Oh, With barely snapped This it. is really dangerous, right? Oh, my. That was a very risky roll, but King Ark's going to get away with it. He's going to... King Ark's going to have to finish this... At least this one stop so he can gain some type of momentum right here. Because yep. I feel like King Ark with momentum, just like I was saying, I think he's going to pick it up. I, I, I kind of imagine him like catching him off guard with some short Yukins coming out. Yeah, at, at this point in time, Rosa's is a character that can so consistently kill, not a character that has trouble killing at all. Right. Oh, um, okay. that, now, at this point, you, the, the game is kind of gone. You're, you're just trying to get information now. Yeah. Like, you, you, you don't know this matchup, you're just trying to get information. You might as well, yeah. That's, that's actually the, the right way to put it. It's like, no one plays this character. You might as well do your best. Try to manage it. I feel like, at least in my perspective, like, I, oh my god, miss input from Ray. What's the punish over here? Throws him off stage. All right, Luma. Ooh. Shout out to Luma taking out the hit right there. The instant. Oh, nice. Nice buffer from Ray. Not falling for the Trump back here. Yeah, and Ray has been so ambiguous with how he's been approaching field, how he's been approaching landing on the floor. That Nair looked like it absolutely could have crossed up, and Ray just put it right in front of Mega Man there. Such good positioning by Ray uh, in the air, using Rose's Drift to his full advantage. All right, I like that Ray. I like that King Ark is keeping him honest whenever he's grabbing the ledge, but at the same time, Ray is very aware that he could die to any time, like any back here, any situation. Mega Man with max Ray right now. What? Oh, Luma just ate that. I was going to mention that it's always interesting that Hold Mega on. Man... Ooh, wait. We have advantage here. No jump either. I was just thinking either. about this. Okay. King Ark with momentum is looking scary. He took one stock. is all he needed right there. Are you oh, my No God. way. Oh, yeah. full rage Mega Man my back man, here. Full rage. Holy. I, I called it. I'm like, that was hey, a you just need one stock. By the way. <laughs> that was a zero to death. Right. Um... At 66%, the full drift out. Ooh. King Ark utilizing that Mega Man fast fall, which is so, so good, so fast. It's going to be a stock. That back air, the reason it, it is so good with Rage, um, the base knockback on that move is Ridiculous bonkers. for no reason. It's bonkers. Like, you, <laughs> like the, the move that everyone at least like. Oh yeah, that Luma. Yeah, that Luma was pretty crazy like, too. Like. Coming from Smash Four, like the move that everyone's like, oh god, crazy base knockbacks, like Mega Man back air. Yeah. Or not Mega Man back air. Uh, Meta Knight back air. 
But like that move is essentially the same. The baseline back on that move is like it, the unit's like 160 you know something. It's, it's yeah. bonkers. What's crazy about fighting against Mega Man at a high level is that most people, when they're playing other characters, their mindset is like, all right, I, don't, I, I just, I'm not gonna get grabbed in front of him. I'm not gonna shield pressure in front of him. Most people would like to go behind it. But if you go behind Mega Man with, while he's shooting, very risky with the extremely fast back here. And it's gonna kill really early, as we've seen in the game one. He just ha he just reverse three stocks him at this point, and we're gonna instantly run it back to battlefield. Utopian Ray feeling very confident on battlefield. Tr probably gonna try to jank him out with some um, up to up air ladders. Is what I'm assuming he's gonna try it on doing. Okay, uh, big leaf short to get back to stage. Um, gonna be trying to control that neutral as much as possible. Oh, wow, my excellent God. two frame oh by Ray God, utilizing that F smash. <laughs> Luma got, got, got Luma was hard. angry with that punch. <laughs> oh, and again, very similar position to what we saw in game number one. Um, Ray, you know, off that like full stock and advantage, already has a quick 54%. percent you know how to take better advantage of it here. <laughs> he just, I'm sorry, he had to get rid of Luma so fast. He was in the middle of just comboing Rosa, and so Luma just relaxed and chilling on the platform. Nah, get out. Re yeah, reset the whole situation right now. Get oh. All right, call it back. Oh, okay. nice reactions from King Mark. That time, Ray wasn't even ready for that for some odd reason. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go for a quick effort off the save. What I do like to say is that uh, King, what makes King Gark so special, besides him being a known Mega Man, his, his usage of um, the gear, oh my god. But you're not going to make any usage with that down there according to Luma right there. Yeah. Luma just basically, it's Sarah because Luma can basically tank the hit, but if you kill Luma, Rose is just right there with the alley-oop. Yeah, that up air is super duper strong. I'm going to be able to get that stop there. Uh, still a pretty good position for Ray, not as good as we saw in that game number one. Um, however, um, really Ray, Ray has has sort of shown his ability to sort of you know, come back, not really uh, feel too afraid of that momentum that King Ark started to get and has made some work of it here back here on stage that move is super good oh man that's always that off smash he's 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 slowly catching up that king art like jumping on top of him because king art likes to set up with the gear like he's really good and devastating whenever he has those confirms but there's only so much use like so much ways on how to approach with it and i feel like ray's kind of catching on to that okay all right crash bomb's gonna do it nope all right, that dash attack putting um, oh. Ark in a really tough position. That down there, not combo. I really thought Rosa had a confirm oh. with up smash, but just gonna take it away with down smash anyway. And that was <laughs> that right there was so good. Um, it covered so much space. He has to air dodge down there. Yeah. Um, because Rosa does have a confirm with sour uh, down there into up smash. Just whiff there. Wasn't facing the right way. You're gonna see here. Wasn't facing the right way. Yeah. Um, did a quick turnaround, and what happened there, and we can actually go back and, right. and see that one more time. In that scenario, I really, yeah, right here, I thought he was in a tech on the platform, but I guess he wasn't high enough. Yeah. So it, Ray reacted accordingly and just did down smash. The first yeah, and, and you're going to see right stage. here, um, Rosa down smash one actually combos into down into Luma down smash. You're going to see the, the first one has enough hit lag, it combos into Luma down smash, and that's going to take that stock. Yeah, Mega Man was definitely not satisfied with that punch right there. And we got a Kalos. All right. This this is a mix up right here. Okay, I guess King Ark realized, you know, Battlefield's just not cutting it. So we're gonna have to, he needs more space. Get away from the, the little tripod combos right here. I kind of respect it. But at the same time, yes, I see, I kind of see this benefiting Mega Man just slightly. Yeah. But I mean, he's gonna have to watch out the fact that Rosa can get a lot off of Nair alone. And he's gonna have a harder time just generally landing and it's forced to go either at the side. Yeah, you, um, King Arch wants space. Uh, you don't want to uh, really mess with Rosa, especially if you, the, the less ground that you have to land on, the more Rosa can force you to ledge, the more Rosa can force you up the stage. It makes it really difficult um, to do that. The more stage you have on a stage like Kalos, especially with those side platforms, can make it a little bit easier for Mega Man to get back down to the ground. Right. Um, okay. Ooh. Yeah, King Arch definitely, he played a lot more faster. Feeling a bit more confident that he has more space to maneuver around Luma's hitboxes. Sure you can. Oh, Fair and enough. Luma with the homie save right there. Like, nah, you gotta fight me first. Yeah, you cannot mess with that uh, <laughs> up your recovery, especially if you're a, a slower character like Mega Man. Oh, I don't like that recovery. Got him in a big yeah. disadvantage right there. And Ray is gonna take it in the bag right there with that first stock. 
Okay, oh, nice. Another uh, dash cancel right there. Very unique. Okay. Not only that, nobody has Rosa experience, but the fact that he he's not no random Rosa. He can just consistently yeah. dash cancel. Uh, one, was, oh my god! Was absolutely one of the best Rosas in Smash 4. And Luma almost <laughs> saved him right yeah. there. That was crazy. But we're gonna take it anyway with that with that little Mega Man blast at the side. Oh, how we're gonna land? Okay. This is where Rosa comes dangerous. <laughs> Get that Luma on my face. <laughs> All right, and again, just trying to uh, really hold that neutral down right now is Ray, and doing an excellent job of that. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you hit Rosa because she's so tall, but you're now in hit lag, and if you hit um, Rosa with a move, especially these low percents, where she's not getting knocked back really at all, Luma's going to come and hit you right afterward. Yeah, you had a good point, because that is another factor that not too many people is going to be aware of. Is when you're in the middle of comboing Rosa, you always have to watch out for Luma, but also watch out the fact that when you are hitting both of them, there are going to be some little delay in the middle of your combo that you will normally do to the rest of the cast. Oh, almost caught him with the hard knuckle. Okay. Uh, he had the right idea, but I guess he wasn't ready for the pack here at that time. Yeah, and the advantage right here from Kamer has really been excellent. Not letting oh. Oh my Rosa God, hit the you floor. Hate to see it. But yeah, King Mark not satisfied with that miss input. Yeah, and the one time really that he let Rosa get down to the ground there ended up costing him completely. Um, and and just unfortunate for King Arc, because now has to contend with, with Rosa, who is getting dangerously close to death percent, but isn't really there just yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was aware that time. He's like, hold on, hold on. I'm running too fast. Let me get rid of the Luma first. Yup, <laughs> get that star out my face. What's next? Hard Knuckle? Oh, you know you're dead. Oh, oh wow, using the wall to get back to stage just barely. Great recovery from Utopia and Ray right there. Oh, oh, nice low profile. I like that little crouch right there. That was cute. Try to cheese, try to cheese King Ark, not falling for the Luma back here this time. Hold that down is so big, that's so much damage right now. On to King Ark, a full 77%, a tough situation to be in against Utopian Ray. He's been so good Ooh. in advantage so far, covering that's the roller gonna be with the jab. Lot of damage, basically 20 sign damage right there from Jabalo. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Utopian Ray was fully ready for that recovery. Yeah. It was either he got hit by Crash Bomb, which he was covering with Fair anyway, or Mega Man had to drift just slightly away from the hitbox. But Utopian Ray was just one step ahead of him right there, you see? Yeah. It was, he could, it was either he had to go around and stick towards the wall and risk getting hit or you do that but you told me and Ray chose the better option at that yeah, point. Yeah, and, and Ray's tracking is just ridiculous off the stage. Just so patient, so ready to get those stocks off with down air. Which again, I said it before, I think it's low-key a sleeper for like the best down air or one of the best down airs in the game. That Luma is this down air? Crazy. <laughs> um, Luma down air, like, especially if you're factoring in Luma down air, yeah. uh, that move does so much. Um, it throws yeah. everyone off too because like,